Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and a turn 10 video for Darius uh, and the mobile HQ, which is attached to my HQ unit. So this is going to be the final battle for this battle report series. My units kind of stayed out of the last um, few battles. I mean, most of the ones that I, we fought were really easy. The enemy has lost most of its main battle units now. So there's only a handful of convoys and some lighter units left, which this is this turn, turn 10 is a mop-up turn. But in order to kind of wrap this up, we're just going to say, because Darius and the Mobile HQ have actually been sitting at our headquarter base, uh, which is kind of great that the, 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 uh, this, this mission actually spawns in here. But this is a duo duel. It's one skull, um, but they only have light units left anyway. So uh, I just thought I would run a battle and just say it's like a couple of units that are making the last ditch effort to try and break into HQ. So this is going to be Darius and the, uh, my mobile HQ trying to defend the base here. Now originally Darius's mech, um, this is a Mackie, and originally I had a Howitzer 2000 in each hand. Um, but I don't know whether I just made a mistake and didn't read what ammunition it used. I'm pretty sure they changed the ammo usage though, because there's been maybe 10 patches since I put this mech together. I thought the Howitzer uh, 2000s used heavy rifle ammo. And I had it loaded out as such, but then when I went to go drop, it said there was an error. So I guess the Howitzer 2000s use medium rifle ammo, which I don't have any of. So I had to replace those. So I put an AC-5 in the left arm and a uh, heavy rotary autocannon 2 in the right arm. Uh, it's a pirate rotary autocannon, so I don't know what to expect with it. Um, and it's got a double loaded of ammo. The AC-5 has got incendiary and regular ammo. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. It's going to heat up this... The heat delta on this is like three, I think, but in this lunar environment, it's going to get absolutely insane, insanely hot if I'm not careful. Uh, it does have a pair of large lasers as backup weapons and a Thunderbolt 10, but I, I don't know what's going to, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Now, it's a duo duel, so I have no idea what to expect from the enemy here. Uh, looks like they're down over there. See, this would be great if I had the howitzers because I could just start lobbing shots at them. But now I'm mostly direct fire, so I don't really have much of a recourse. Oh man, I remember this battle. This is the uh, where you get the Argo. Yeah, there it is. There. Ah man, what a great what a great uh, battle in the original series or the original uh, game. All right, let's just move up here. Acknowledged. In the mobile HQ, I think we get. Persistent jamming, jam, jams enemies, C3 system, active probe, plus two tactic skills for all teammates. And I know my pilot here has got field command, so I get bonus sensors site initiative for, I think that's everybody? Plus, yeah, for everybody. So we're just going to put him in here for now. It's got a pair of medium lasers, so it's not really designed to do any fighting. It's just for support, but we'll see how this goes. I have no idea. I mean, we could get two really crazy good mechs. Or maybe not. Oh, okay, so this guy is... Um, I don't know what this guy is, but this is the uh, Mantis. Interesting. Um, let's not go too far. Alright. So it is, like I said, it's a lunar environment. I hear so I'm interested to see how this plays out. Let's just reserve. We've also got a spy sat ping too, so if one of these guys is super stealthy. I don't think so. The Mantis I know has got melee, so it could be a, an issue. And this guy's a Razorback, so I don't think he's going to last very long. Alright. I was worried, but I don't think I really have to be. What can I do for you? He said, and then it's like going to get my ass handed to me probably. Find out here in a minute. I think the Razorback's covered in lasers if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's flamers. Oh, that could be real bad. Man, this is the worst environment for that. This guy's covered in ER lasers, so he's going to heat up pretty quick. Standing by. So let's get... Can we get a shot on him? We can't. There's no line of sight? Apparently not if I'm looking from there. Come on, zoom in. No way I can get a line of sight on this guy, eh? Um, 
We'll back it up a bit then. Yeah, it really makes me wish I had the uh, that high explosive. Makes me wish I had my howitzers. It would have made this fight a lot easier, but... Come on, I'm tabbing. Why aren't you tabbing? 14% sure. Got it, Commander. Might as well drop a little bit of damage on him while we can. You, Commander. Don't need to tell me twice. Well, the mobile HQ doesn't have a whole lot of armor. Well, I mean, it does in the front, but that's about it. So we can't really close and do anything with it. Come on, you bastards. Show me what you got. Okay, he's coming into range now. All right, that's interesting. I hear you. Can't give these guys a shot at me then. What Let's get into for? here. You betcha. All right. Well, uh, let's do a spy sat ping. Got a lock. Apparently, we turned the light on back there too. Commander. Ooh, yeah, we don't even need to move. Kinetic round. Ooh, uh, let's go high explosive so we can at least hit with it. Um, doesn't matter where the tag goes, but we'll roll it up to the top uh, anyway. And then let's bring the rotary up. Actually, the kinetic should probably be... Oh, we're going high explosive, so... Go that road, I guess. We'll go in Cindery. We got tandems. Yeah, we're going to heat up real fast. But if we can pull this guy down really quickly, then... We're overheating already. We'll take the overheat. 72 rounds. It's only 7 damage, though. Or I think these fragment. Well, let's find out. We get the knockdown? I think I hit something good. We did not even get a knockdown. Oh, you're fine. We'll we can turn it up. We're gonna turn off the large lasers. Okay, he's trying to flank us. Waiting on you, Commander. If he's gonna flank, then we're gonna spank. Let's see if we can knock this guy down. Moving out. If we can get the knockdown here, it'll be pretty much over for this guy. That should be enough. Yep, there it is. All right, Darius. Waiting for orders. Uh, let's go after the head, and we'll turn these guys off. Oof, man, really? Wow, the Thunderbolt's hot, eh? Um. Now let's go incendiary because if he does manage to get up for whatever reason, hopefully he'll be overheating. Now nah, he ain't getting up. He ain't getting up. Farewell, sweet friend. Now if that guy had come down here, he could have just walked in, and that would have would have been the it for the match. I hear ya. Okay, let's get you right, around here. Here. Now let's go ahead and do this. And brace. Yes, Commander. So now all we got left Going. is a thunderbolt on this guy. God, this thing is so slow. But I guess it doesn't need to be fast. May I interest you in some melting armor? Yeah, I really wasn't sure what to expect. Wow, you're just gonna run away. I wasn't really sure what to what expect. Um mech wise in this two skull mission and I because I've never taken this Mackie into battle I had no idea if um, hey, wait your command. if it's actually was it actually capable of doing Boom. anything like, I mean the weapon systems are pretty good on it and I wish I had the two howitzers instead of the rack because the rack can knock stuff down pretty easy Engaging. but the howitzers it's always iffy right nothing nothing 
You're just gonna keep running back and forth, or what? I guess that's all he's gonna do. Damn, we're gonna do this. Are we? Resting my mech. He's waiting for me to get close, I think. Wish I had thermal bolts. Firing. Certainly be helpful. We've only got two of those thunderbolts left too. The high explosive, here he comes. This could be bad. Sixty-six heat. He's gonna shut me down. Hmm. Waiting on you, Commander. Going turbo. Got to go after him. He can blow this thing up real fast, but if we don't go after him, it's going to be an issue. Firing everything I've got. All right, we got a leg hit. Ready for orders. Yep, I'm worried now, as well I should be. On my way. As well I should be. Uh, Thunderbolt can come off. He's not going to heat up very much, is he? Oh, he's got a bit of heat on him. Let's go this route. Lock and load it. Here it comes. Take that. Ah, that rack is just brutal. Shit, he's going to melee. Is he? Nope. This is bad. My heat. Taking damage. This is really bad. What can I do for you? I was hoping I could get a shot at the other side of him here. Oh, I can. That gives him a shot at my side though. I think we got to do this though, because we got to get a shot at this side. If we can blow through that side and kill him, I think we'll be all right. Or maybe at least drop a couple of his weapons here. Oh, two leg hits. There we go. All right. Oh my god, I thought he was going to kill us. They could have done it too. Mission successful. So that very easily could have been a loss if the Razorback had pushed with the Mantis uh, and heated me up early. There wouldn't have been a damn thing I could have done about it and he would have just burned me up and that would have been the end of it. Because he would have killed, he would have easily killed that, um, the mobile HQ. Ooh, we'll take the exchanger. And that's it. Heat bank plus though. Prototype double heat sinks. Not that we can get any use out of them with our prototype double heat sink kit. But the heat bank's definitely useful, or the exchanger, I mean, we'll probably throw it in the Mackie. Alright. What do we get? Mantis, Razorback, Incendiary Rocket 15, Laser AOS, that's nice. I may actually drop that into the uh, to the Mackie as well. Oh, we got both prototype double heat sinks. That's a good roll. All right, 15 grand, no problem. So I'm still looking for, um, let's see here, three days. Let's just, actually, let's, we got to get off this planet. We got to get back into where we were before. So let's move back to, actually, we're going to be going to, uh, no, where are you here? Is it calf? No. New Stevens, where is it? I, I can't remember now which planet it is. We're going to next, but I got to go to a planet where I can actually buy some stuff. I got to see if I can find a 17 days. That's not bad. I got to do some milk runs too. So finding a planet that's close by with some ability for me to take a few missions to make some money would be nice. Um, That's 10 days. Let's go here. So we've got to find some uh, medium rifle ammo. Roger that, Commander. But I'm going to show you what I what I, my plans for this thing Job is. Done, um, yeah, we don't play with the uh, we don't play with the crew members. Never put yourself in a position to take from your uh, your team members. Um, 
So if we go to Mech Bay real quick. If you're wondering why I'm so sluggish today, I, I got my uh, booster shot for uh, COVID last night. It's my third shot now. And I'm just kind of whacked out today. So um, so the refit on this guy, once we get some medium rifle ammo, the goal is to take these guys off. Right? And then we got a pair of howitzer 2000s. And then two tons of ammo in each arm. So that's going to be the goal, um, but one, like I said, we got to wait to we got to wait to get there. Um, we don't really have the ability to do it quite yet. Like I said, we're just short on ammo, so that's kind of why I'm making my jump here. Uh, but let's go real quick before I forget. Replace the no. Um, let's keep the tandem rockets just in case. We'll go that route. I don't think we need the heat bank now. 8477, yeah, that's pretty good. We're going to be on a temperate planet for the next major uh, campaign battles, so um, that's plenty good for me. On it. I'll let you know when that so this Lockdale battle is coming to a close, that the campaign, the scenario that is. The next one's going to be an open, open world fight. So uh, we're going to another planet and engaging um, enemy forces over a large, large area. Uh, there should be some pretty good battles in there. It's going to be harder, well not harder, but more interesting for the players too because there's some areas that are only attainable by jump capable mechs. Um, so you have to have your entire unit as jump capable or VTOLs. Um, so yeah, it should be interesting the next one. Um, there's a few other um, rules that I'm putting into play to make things a little bit more difficult. This first scenario that we played for Battle for Lockdown. You can go check it out in the Discord. Um, while it was fun, there's a few things that I think uh, I could have done better. Um, I didn't expect the enemy, or the players to move out against um, it's by that. Got an AC-20 that I want to get into play. I didn't expect the, the players to move out against the enemy, so when they did, it made it difficult for them to engage. Uh, let's take that too. New weapon systems available. And no medium. Yeah, so it was difficult for them to engage with the enemy um, because they didn't know where the enemy was and the enemy had a preset route that they were going to go. Um, and some of the enemy was pretty stealthy, so they detected the players before the players saw them and they were able to kind of go around them. But then, you know, when the players realized that the enemy were crossing the, uh, the sensor lines, like behind them they had to get back to, to defend the base. So they got back in time and they did a good job defending but some players um, some of their units didn't actually get a chance to do any fighting for most of the battle which I, I'm, I'm kind of sad about but there's not much I could really do about it because I expected them to stay at the main base and then when the enemy crossed the sensor lines um, engage at that point but because they crossed the sensor lines and had no idea where the enemy was it was kind of difficult to to um, uh, engage in some of the fights so it was kind of tricky there at the end but everything worked out well uh, but this next battle we're going to be picking and choosing our fights as opposed to the enemy coming to us i mean it'll happen sometimes but for the most part we're going to we're going to be choosing where we're fighting and when to fight so there will be engagement for all units anyone that wants to fight is going to have a chance to fight um so yeah but i'm going to end this one here this should end up end the uh my videos for the battle of uh, lockdale uh, the next one, I haven't got the name for it yet, but uh, it should pro probably be starting in the next couple of weeks. Um, I already got a good idea of what uh, the enemy is um, and, and the units. I just need to um, finish up the map board. I'm going to change it slightly uh, based on what we did with this first one. Um, and then, um, yeah, we'll do some, in, uh, some battles that way. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to end this here. hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, we'll see you later. Thank you.